hoten aur swasth ho man मनो दर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल दी व्यूअर्स एंड लर्नर इन दिस लाइव स्पेशल सेशन ऑफ सी आई टी एन सी आर टी नेम्ड सहयोग I am Renu Bhatt with you all, and you are watching us live on E Vidya channels from channel number six to twelve. And apart from all those channels, you are with us on our YouTube channel as well, that is N C E R T official. Dear learner, this is our session Sahyog, and let me give you a brief about Sahyog sessions. Sahyog and Parichacha sessions are held under Manodarpan Initiative, and it's a brilliant initiative by Ministry of Education for providing psychosocial support to all these students, their parents. teachers across the country and we generally talk about their mental well being as well ye initiative hai ministry of education ka as a part of atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan so without any further delay let's quickly get back to the session and let me share the title of this session is cultural identity and mental well being so what exactly cultural identity is and how does it affect students mental well being we have joined by our experts they will let you know more about it so let's meet our expert you are dr namika lenka you are assistant professor from rie ncert bhubaneswar a very warm welcome ma'am swagat hai aapka namaskar and we have joined by our practicing counselor as well let's meet her you are miss swapna rani subuddhi very warm welcome ma'am swagat hai well and before we start this particular discussion let me share some certain information to all the viewers and students in case they have any query related to this particular topic they can reach out to us through our various mediums you can call us on our telephone number that is 8800440559 either you can drop a mail as well on our email address that is sahyog.ncert@ciit.nic.in and apart from these uh, mediums you can reach out to us through our youtube channel as well that is ncert officials you have to go to the live chat box and then only you can drop your comment out there our experts will be happy to answer all your queries and doubts if you have any so quickly start this uh, discussion and anamika ma'am let's start this discussion with you and my my first question to you is what exactly cultural identity is what is the concept behind this cultural identity and mental well being ma'am please explain to us thank you for your question cultural identity and mental well being are in interconnected concepts that relates to an individual sense of self and how their cultural background and identity can impact uh, their psychological emotional health let's overview about the both concepts number one i would like to say about the cultural identity cultural identity refers to an individual's identification with a particular cultural group or community it's include various elements such as nationality ethically regional language custom tradition and values so many more cultural identity plays a significant role in shaping of individual self concept and influence how they perceive themselves and others key points related the cultural identity can be self identification cultural influence self identification just like that people often define themselves in terms background for example someone might identity from asian african american latino or native american or as indian as we do cultural influence we can say cultural identity is influenced by the cultural in which an individual was raised their family's culture practices their experience with their cultural community cultural awareness is, uh, play a important part in that developing an understanding of one's cultural identity and the awareness of cultural diversity are uh, crucial for personal growth and social harmony also so next we i am coming on the mental well being so mental well being often referred as the mental health relate to the person's emotional psychological and social well being it involves uh, factors such as emotional resilience the ability to manage stress maintain positive relationship and make choice the enhance one's overall quality of life key aspect of the mental ability or the mental well being can be include uh, emotional resilience the capacity to bounce back from adversity cope up with life's challenges and maintain emotional Uh, stability, social connectedness, 
the presence of a supportive relationship and social networks that provide emotional and practical supports self awareness is also very important understanding one's emotions thought in crucial for maintaining mental well being positive mental status just like feeling content uh, connectedness experience positive emotions and having a sense of purpose are in, uh, indicators of good mental well being relationship between uh, cultural uh, identity and mental well being we can say cultural identity can significantly impact mental well being in a few ways we can express our uh, thoughts cultural st uh, stress individuals from minority or marginalized culture groups may experience stress related to discrimination or challenges and the cultural clashes also its stress can have negative impact on the mental health also for the uh, good mental health cultural resilience a strong cultural identity can serve as a source of resilience helping individuals cope with the adversity and discrimination by providing a sense of belongingness and support from their cultural community so we can uh, come forward uh, regarding the cultural competencies cultural identity can also influence in the individual's ability to navigate differentiate cultural context promoting greater cultural competencies which can enhance mental well-being stigmas and uh, taboos some cultural communities may stigmatize or have taboos related to the mental health issue these cultural norms can impact an individual's willingness to seek help from mental health is concerned so i can say cultural identity and mental well-being are interwoven and the impact of one of the other can be complex acknowledge and the respecting of individuals cultural identity and crucial for promoting positive mental well-being and it's important to consider how cultural factor influence a person's experience of mental health and well-being cultural competencies and cultural sensitivity in healthcare and support service are essential to address the diverse need of individual from different cultural background i this is from my side for this answer. right so this is what cultural identity is and how it affects mental well being and my next question to you is from uh, subuddhi ma'am what are the challenges individual face when they try to maintain their cultural identity uh, while adapting to a new cultural uh, identity and how does this balance affect their mental well being what are those challenges ma'am Swapna Rani, ma'am. I hope I am audible to you, ma'am. Subodhi, ma'am, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I am here. But uh, you, I think it disconnect. Okay. So before we start this question answers question, thank you so much for such a beautiful question. Because uh, currently such things are happening, and uh, currently society are facing such things. As uh, Anamika Ma'am has mentioned, all about the concept of culture. As we know that culture is a unique combination. Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, Ma'am, you are audible. Okay. So as we know that the uh, cultural, basically unique combination. That means where we grew up, where our parents are living, what we speak, the language, all these things, and this basically shapes our qualities like what wow, the way we will say what we drink what we will say our habits all these patterns cultural influence so basically when we are trying to identify well, maintain our identity culture or accepting someone's culture adapting someone's a new culture there is so so many challenges are facing like culture norms and values that means the individual may encounter confronting catch culture cultural norms and values leading to a sense of identity crisis and confusion it's creating confusion and most important factor which most important challenges which facing by the individual while adapting a new culture that is a language barrier basically right like language can be a significant as we know that significant barrier and it affects communication and the ability to connect with others who share the same culture okay suppose for example i um, i am adopting i am in my culture from till my since my birth and i move so for move forward somewhere and i am adopting some on others culture i am trying to understand their language their culture systems 
the patterns but this creating a communication that creating a communication bad gap because of language that i'm unable to understand what they are saying and they are also unable to understand what i'm saying that reason that language barrier creating communication gap okay so that, that are another challenges faced by an individual and another one is social acceptance somewhere we are not acceptable by people like you you can say no if north indian people are going for any other places like any other eastern or western part so there is a uh, social acceptance is not easily acceptable in the first time they are struggling for that they are struggling to fit in and gain acceptance in the new culture and that feeling of that feeling create a isolation and loneliness who are not fit who are not cope up with that particular situation who are not who are unable to adapt with that who are unable to fit with that they are feeling isolated and loneliness discrimination happening like experiencing discrimination or prejudice is based on their cultural background can be emotional discrimination matter where they come from their cultural background also matter in that particular culture where they are going where they are adapting a new culture and another one is loss of tradition it's also happening loss of tradition is the another factor like while we are adopting a new culture of a like that we have to sacrifice or alter our cultural traditions okay so which can lead to a sense of loss loss of traditions then another one is family and the peer pressure which is most important and factor for our children as well as for the youngsters for as well as for the individual any uh, adult so pressure from family and peers to conform to the new culture's norms can create internal conflict that means i am already habituated conditioned with my culture where i am born and brought up after that when when i am moving forwards another culture there i i need to cope cope with that particular situation and that time when my peers like where i am studying and uh, purely coming to my new environment new environment school new school new students new friends all these things i'm there i'm trying to cope up with that but there when the peer pressure coming you um language barrier as we know that language barrier happening and peer pressure family pressure to accept that to adopt with new culture suddenly adapt with it quickly and you have to how could you take such time is consuming so all these things all this pressures family pressure peer pressure creating a internal conflict what should i do like such type of expression what should i do what should i do because we are already conditioned with our culture na for that reason it's creating so many challenges facing by individual when they are adopting a new culture or trying to try to maintain a cultural identity but all these things after all these things there we should balance with that right because we have to move forward as we know that people are moving or we are moving another place or another culture for our some region some region some situation we are moving for the we have to adopt we have to accept such things but when we are adopting we are facing some challenges still still we have to balance with all these things balance karke jana hai na agar balance nahi karenge agar hame wah cope up nahi karenge to nahi reh payenge to ye sare cheeze ke liye hame balance bhi karna zaruri hai jo ki kya kar sakte hai bahut sare effect effective techniques hai tricks hai mental health bahut sare mental individuals mental health ke liye bahut sare adaptive uh, balancing factors hai so wo kya ho sakte hai jaise ki mera um, स्ट्रेस एंगजाइटी हो रही है बैलेंसिंग बिटवीन मेंटेनिंग कल्चर आइडेंटिटी एंड एडोप्टिंग न्यू कल्चर दैट अफेक्टिंग इंडिविजुअल्स मेंटल हेल्थ इन वेरियस वेज सो दीज आर मेनली स्ट्रेस एंड एंगजाइटी एंड डिप्रेशन आइडेंटिटी क्राइसिस साइकोलॉजिकल कंफ्लिक्ट और अदर फैक्टर लाइक स्ट्रेस सो दीज आर द फैक्टर्स आर फेसिंग बाय द इंडिविजुअल्स वेयर दे वेन दे वॉन्ट्स टू एडोप्ट and when they trying to balance all these things they are facing such problems but after that if they want to cope up with such things that is the most important thing they can they can seek help from any mental health professionals mental health organizations 
communities mental uh, community service sector center they can navigate from there and they can cope up with the situation uh, so these are my all about my answers about such questions so there are so many challenges faced by an adolescents when yeah. they uh, try to adopt a new cultural right so there yes. are so many challenges but uh, we have solutions as well uh, anamika ma'am please elaborate the role of family and uh, community support ma'am um definitely family and community uh, plays a very important role in the upbringing of a child in his life because we learn the culture and the etiquettes and the manner from our family we behave according to our family culture exactly how i behave outside of my house is decided by the upbringing of my family because we have to follow the norms of our family family and community support play a crucial role in fostering a positive culture identity and pro uh, promoting better mental well being so that when we say the family and community support contribute uh, that are maybe validation and affirma affirmation family and community support validation of culture identity by acknowledging its important and values the affirmation help individual feel proud of their heritage because if family uh, teaches that we have to be proud whatever we are doing regular in routine although जो कुछ भी हम घर में सुबह से शाम तक करते हैं हर एक बच्चा करता है तो उसे करते करते उसकी एक आदत में आ जाता है जब वो आदत में आ जाता है तो वो उसको करते हैं कि आदत बन चुकी होती है बाहर अगर उसको कोई इवेलुएट करे कि आप सुबह उठ के ऐसा रिचुअल्स प्ले करते हो तो ये आपके लिए ठीक नहीं है तो कहीं ना कहीं वो हार्ट फील करता है ऐसे में वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ दैट सेंस ऑफ बिलोंगिंग बिलोंगिंग टू अ कल्चर कम्युनिटी प्रोवाइड्स इंडिविजुअल्स विद अ सेंस ऑफ बिलोंगिंगनेस the social support network can be a source of comfort and security we feel more secure when we are in our community or our uh, group as we see many times in our classroom uh, students feel very very familiar with the particular uh, language group with a particular community group with a particular place where he or she belongs sometimes we see that in my class i see many times there there is a two or three groups that you are belonging uh, for particular uh, state so we have a group is we have a belonging for this are together we are speaking this language so we are together because student or a peer they play a very good role very uh, supportive role in that uh, we can say transmission of cultural knowledge families and communities often serve as the primary education term to cultural uh, cultural knowledge whenever a uh, elder people in our elder a member of our family dies Uh, definitely our uh, some uh, part of the culture also die die with that uh, senior member of our family so we not we have to preserve our culture as well as we have to uh, teach our kids how to be uh, how to be uh, lead more about with the culture and our heritage with that definitely emotional support families and community supports can be significant source of emotional support during the challenging time because whenever the students come back from the house Uh, from the house to the school and the school to the house there is the only one way to support it whether uh, may, maybe from the teacher maybe from the family member they can support to grow up they can give them emotional support social support cultural celebration and rituals also plays a very good role for that to uh, to conclate uh, their uh, culture as well as heritage regular field as well as the uh, identification in the society say so family and community support can promote resilience in individuals when people face challenges related to their cultural identity the support they receive from the loved one can help them to bounce back and maintain their well being whatever i am doing i am very confident that i am okay because my family my society supports me i am not doing anything wrong it's give me uh, emotional support so that i can continue um, more and more in my yes, future life Yes, ma'am. So this is the role of family and community support, and it's quite important. As we are running very short of time uh, here, uh, Zubuddi, ma'am, we just wanted to know about the relationship between cultural identity and the stigma associated with uh, seeking mental health support, ma'am. Please uh, let us know in brief, ma'am. Okay. Okay, okay ma'am. So uh, first of all, I want to mention that. at a stigma a taboo which is uh, in society in a society especially for seeking help for mental health illness 
dear as we are as we are taking care of our physical health mental health is also as uh, important like this and it's not the same just asking for help is there is nothing now is so you are okay you are okay with that it's okay not to be okay as we mentioned so uh, back to my question is that the relationship between culture identity and the stigma associated with the mental health support is complex actually and it can vary across uh, different cultures so basically the point i have mentioned here like uh, cultural stigma which is most important that mm-hmm. some cultures may have deeply ingrained stigma around mental health issues seeking help for psychological problem might be seen as a sign of weakness or as a threat to world's cultural identity as it may be perceived as admitting to personal or familial flaws like seeking as i mentioned earlier seeking help is becoming a stigma it, like you are know, a weakness like when as for example koi agar aisa aata hai jab help ke liye puchti hai ki usko problem hai aur main counselor ke paas jana chahta hu to usko society ya fir any or people bolenge counselor that means is a crazy mad is a psychologically affected psycho patient all these things they will give the names right. so such thing also vary in different different types of culture so next point like collectivism versus individualism that means the culture identities can influence whether an individual's primary focus is on their individual well being or the well being of the collective such as family or community in collectivist culture seeking help for mental health is to may be stigmatized as it can be perceived as prioritizing oneself over the group like individuals se jyada priority hame group mein milti collective well being ke liye milti par personal health ke liye aa jao no hmm. you are you are deviated from our uh, from our society from our culture you are uh, crazy you are psycho patient all these things then another one is language ma'am, and communication up, which is the ma'am please sum up ma'am yeah yeah okay okay yes. i'm sorry so for reducing such stigma we need to culture focus on a cultural competence and community education which is a uh, currently as coming going on family and community involvement family community involvement if they will involve they it can be reduced this stigma can be reduced from the society and tailored service like offering mental health service that are culturally sensitive and adapted to the needs of specific culture groups then role models we need to promote success stories of individuals the who are the role models for them we need to promote such things and basically the most important thing that is media and reproduction education right because as we are people are thinking so this is the basic points we need to focus on such things then stigma ties stigma can be reduced from our society yes ma'am और आपने बहुत ही सही बात बोली कि जब भी किसी को किसी वेदर दे आर स्टूडेंट्स हो दे आर एडल्ट और दे आर वर्किंग पीपल अगर किसी को मेंटल हेल्थ की जरूरत होती तो कई सारे टैबूज एंड स्टिग्माज उनके साथ जुड़ जाते हैं दैट इज नॉट गुड एक्चुअली बट बिकॉज ऑफ बिकॉज वी आर रनिंग वेरी शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम वी हैव टू रैप अप दिस सेशन हेयर ओनली बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी थैंक बोथ ऑफ यू अनामिका मैम एम स्वप्न रानी मैम थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर बींग विद मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर योर वैल्यूबल इन्फॉर्मेशन थैंक यू and dear learner before i wrap up this session let me share some certain information a uh, very important piece of information regarding ncert's textbooks ncert textbooks for the academic year 2023 24 are available throughout the country and these textbooks may be purchased directly from ncert sales counters located at new delhi ahmedabad bangalore kolkata and guwahati these sales counters will be functional on all, all the weekdays including all the gazetted holidays saturdays and sundays as well from 9:30 am to 6 pm and if you want uh, these books online you can you have to visit our website that is ncertbooks.ncert.gov.in and all these books will be delivered at your doorstep with no delivery fees and in case you want the soft copy of all those books in pdf version it can also be downloaded online for free from ncert diksha e pathshala website and from our mobile app we would request you to visit our website that is ncert.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendors with that note me renu bhat along with my whole team is taking your leave stay tuned to evidya channels and ncert official youtube channel for more informative program namaskar and stay healthy tan aur man ka 
रखे खयाल को बनाए खुशहाल तन और मन का रखे खयाल जीवन को बनाए खुशहाल कौन से लड़को बताए अपना हाल कौन से लड़को बताए अपना हाल जो सुने हमारे मन के सवाल सब मिलकर ले ये प्रण स्वस्थ हो तन और स्वस्थ हो मन सब मिलकर ले ये प्रण स्वस्थ हो तन और स्वस्थ हो मन मनोदर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू